Hello. I Hello. Was, oh, um, so I was wondering for or applying to the characters in Transformers that you have voice acted, uh, if you could choose to change that character in a way or add something to that character oh, now, okay. what would you choose? Wow. Yeah. Um, that she would be in it more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That there'd be a spinoff, an <laughs> RC spinoff. And they'd want to make sure and use Sue Blue for the voice. Yeah. That's what. Did I answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> I said I, I would like to have a shot at it now because just because, you know, just because uh, I, I said more time on the planet, nuance. There's so many yeah. things I'd like to try with him, you know. Uh, that's why I, I, I'm hesitant to watch it. A lot of it because I'm like, Ugh, I want to do that again. So it'd be kind of fun to be able to do that again, just to see what I could bring, you know, to it. That, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. Hey. Hi. Okay, so I have a question for David Kane. So I'm taking this off of Transformers and going towards a video game you did. Um, so for Psychonauts, if anyone remembers that. Got oh yeah. Um, Number two's out there right now. Yeah. Um, my one question was, um, how did you react working with everyone in the studios? Was there anyone that recognized you? How was working for the studios? And how did you come up for the voice of Ford? Uh, for Ford? Ford Kriller? Um, we did that quite a while ago. Uh, Chris Brown is a voice director on that. And Chris is a, a lovable. She's just so... How did I... I, I, had, I talked... I tell, I, the same thing I, about, about Rob Paulson and some people I've met. They're so nice. It's almost an unattainable nice. You cannot be that. And how do you be that nice? I can't. I could try. I don't know if I could be ever that nice. Um, <laughs> and Chris is uh, one of those people. It's just it's so nice. Like, oh, my God, the niceness is just killing me. It's, I, I try because I want to try to be that nice, but I can't. Um, and she's wonderful. And she's great with actors. So I love working with her. Uh, I met her for the very first time on the very first game I did. Uh, and then Psychonauts 2 came around. And uh, was that uh, bl um, was a company that did that? I can't remember. It was Double Fine. Double Fine, and they were great to me. And we did it all uh, separate. Um, we're, I, I never met Jack Black. I never met anybody else. Who they're all they come in, you know, separate to do games. But the the voice was such a. Um, I saw pictures of him, and I just saw this old man. It's Honey Pepper Borbeck, and a sort of like, uh, 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 not quite New Orleans, but something down in here. And I just added a bit of a bit of stuff to it, you know, like this is shaky thing, like Rasputin, and I got levels, and you know, load here and high and go. And I just that became the the character. And then Chris would always go like she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like this crazy person in the basement, you know, <laughs> hit him again. <laughs> and she was so nice. And, and, and that was the, it just, it was a matter of like starting with something and adding layers and adding nuance and adding, the, the, you know, to create the character. Um, but an awesome game if any of you played through it. So it's, it's quite heady, uh, uh, the term wow. I use for it, but it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I gotta do it. It's weird. Yeah. I gotta do it. I also just want to mention my boyfriend has now quoted the game multiple times, will not stop, so thank you for that. You're very welcome. <laughs>